Hello everybody, my name is Dano, or Danny, or Daniel, whatever you want. Um, just not Dan. Um, this is my envision, envision. This is the invention which I envisioned, the Resolute. And it is a new kind of lute synthesizer, or stringed instrument synthesizer. It's completely analog. Um, it works via vibrations near the pickup associated with the, the particular uh, line here, the channel. Um, the first one that I'm making is a little two-channel one. And take a look at the, what we got on the user interface here, sensitivity, saturation, pitch, volume, power. Runs on four AA batteries. Um, you can probably play it for hours a day for a month or more before you'll have to change it. So let's let you hear how it sounds. So you see these rods here. And of course we can change the tuning. Lot of different ways to play it so with these same rods right here i could pick up a violin bow and let's see if i got the i need the sensitivity all the way up saturation down i think let's see let's turn the saturation up a little bit much of a a bowyer I suppose no maybe a bowyer makes bows I'm not much of a person who plays with a bow so that's very cool now another really cool feature is that these guys come off and you can replace them with other ones. Now I've got a set of, I call those tone springs. I've got a set of the tremolo tone springs that I'm gonna put on. See, they've got a little ball bearing attached. And so I'll try to work out a way to have this change faster and more immediate, but for now it works. You could easily change it like in between songs. You probably couldn't, you know, change it between a verse and a chorus or something. All right, so because of the weight of the ball bearings, they go for a long time. Let's see what that sounds like. This should be up higher because they're really big. So whenever the sound dips like that, that's when we're overdriving the circuit. I don't think it damages it, but it just lets you know that you're not getting your sound that you're wanting. So let's turn the sensitivity down. That's what we gotta do.
Okay, so that's cool. And there's a lot of different types of tone springs, and they all have a different resonance and feel. And some are more for special effects, like there's one with a chain wrapped around it. Um, but what is really fun is you can leave it off and play with the air pick, which is a special pick that I have developed. It's not really that complicated, but it's cool nonetheless. Check it out, I'm not touching. So, this is neat. I don't have an actual one made yet that looks good. That looks how it's gonna look in the end, but this is a neodymium magnet just glued onto a guitar pick. Um, so, the cool thing is the North and South Pole act very differently from each other. This one activates when you're going toward it. But when you pull up, you get nothing. But if you flip it over, you get nothing when you go toward it. But when you pull up, you get the signal. And so depending on how you have your pick flip, you get a different sound. Turn the saturation like way up. That is the Resolute.